What's going on guys? Josh here from Polymathics and today I wanted to do something a little different. I want to tell you a little bit about myself but instead of pontificating and self-indulgence and all these ridiculous things about myself I figured why not give you some gems of wisdom that I picked up along my journey. Things that might help you in your journey as you go on um, your walk in life and <clears throat> in order to set the tone of this speech I'd like to quote one of the greatest writers and poets and orators of our time uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson who said that which lies behind us and that which lies before us are but tiny things compared to that which lies within us and isn't it so true that as we go on this journey through life that it's not the people and the places as much as it is the experiences where we learn about ourselves that resonate with us and so today I'd like to share with you three of those mentorship thankfulness and playfulness and so with that being said how many of you guys uh, are familiar with Star Wars if you're American I would assume that most all of you know who Obi-Wan Kenobi is and Yoda and you see they're important because they were mentors to Luke and everyone should have a mentor going through life to help guide you through the ways of the force and for me when I was a child my one of my first mentors was my grandfather and um, he's a hard ass let me tell you he's a great man and um, one of my early childhood memories I was a teenager um, I remember I was playing a baseball game and I hit the game winning home run and I was super pumped that day my girlfriend was there my family was there uh, a friend of mine was there I mean couldn't have been a better day for me and um, and so my grandfather had videotaped it and the next day or that weekend we went and we analyzed the videotape as we used to do because he was my mentor and um, we we must have watched that swing about ten times and afterwards he said Josh you know if you had just swung through with both arms you would have hit the ball even further next time you've got to focus on that and at the time I thought it was pretty harsh but uh, now that I've gotten older I realize you know throughout my life and and all of the the great wisdom that my grandfather bestowed upon me one of the great lessons that he taught me is um, that a mentor should love you enough to tell you when you're doing something wrong let me repeat that because that's very important if you want a mentor you need someone who cares about you enough not to just be a yes man not to just tell you how wonderful you are but to tell you when you're messing up so you don't continue going out looking like a jackass and my grandfather told me that that day because he knew what my potential was and he wasn't going to let a momentary success stifle me for my future potential so that's mentorship for the second item we'll have to fast forward a little bit into uh, midway through my military career when I was stationed in beautiful Monterey California learning a uh, I was in a advanced Korean class and um, <clears throat> I had the pleasure to meet a wonderful lady by the name of Isung Shik something new and she was my instructor 
just a little little tiny fireball of a lady kind of like the Yoda of lady Koreans if you will but uh, <coughs> she was wise beyond her years and more importantly um, she taught me something about the language that no one else could you see in order to learn a language you have to understand the mindset of the people in that culture and I had known the language for probably three or four years before that but the problem was I still couldn't make that connection and the thing about Yi Sun Sing Nim was that she was a survivor a survivor of the Korean War she had grown up very young during it and she had been through so many things she had seen terrible atrocities when she was younger she had lost both of her parents and she hadn't spoken to her brother at least at that time a few years ago she hadn't spoken to him in over 50 years because he had been separated he was in the north and she was in the south and finally because of her because of her life because of her sharing that experience with me I could finally understand the deep tragedy of the Korean people and their pain and when you can empathize with that then you can truly learn a language but more importantly what it did was it made me look at all of the meaningless stuff that I was complaining about bills and, and arguments and things that were far less important and it put my life in perspective at the time and I always try to maintain that perspective and be thankful that I live in a country where I can text, tweet, email, phone call, Skype, visit my brother and any other family member that I wish whenever I desire not everybody has that right everybody should but not everybody has it and so be thankful that you live in a place that gives you that freedom so thankfulness and the third thing I want to talk about to lighten the mood is my children who I am also very thankful for my children are some of the greatest mentors that I've ever had and yes for all of you parents out there I'm sure you're aware that children teach you patience but more than patience children ignite something in you that sometimes is fizzled out it's that sense of wonder and amazement and desire and playfulness that you had when you yourself were a child you see my daughter my youngest daughter she she runs around with two little ponies in her hand and her feet are on the wrong around the her shoes are on the wrong feet but she thinks she's the coolest thing since sliced bread and she's soup she's having a great time she doesn't have a care in the world my oldest daughter is into makeup and fashion and I find lipstick and makeup all over the walls because she's having such a good time and my son would rather play Minecraft in Halo than do his homework and yeah it gets frustrating at times but the point is they still realize that it's not about the daily grind it's not about killing yourself working for whatever taskmaster that you have upon you it's about going out living life and enjoying life and I think sometimes in our adult um, years we lose sight of that and we, we become workaholics and we we totally forget who we are and we forget to play and have fun and enjoy things you only live life once it's like Shakespeare said to be or not to be are you going to be today are you going to go out and live life to its fullest because let me tell you we only have so many years that we get on this earth and then it's all gone are you gonna spend those years slaving away 
Or are you going to make something in this life? Are you going to enjoy it? Have fun. So there they are. Mentorship, thankfulness, and playfulness. And in conclusion, I just want to say this. If you don't have one, go out and find a mentor. Find someone who's going to tell you when you're doing amazing things. But make sure that they care about you enough to tell you when you're screwing up. Because that's far more beneficial. And be thankful for them. And be thankful for all the people in your life. Because when it comes down to it, you are a reflection. You are the sum total of all those people who you come in contact with. And lastly, don't forget to have fun. Go out and enjoy yourself. Leave some time for you. Treat yourself. <laughs> Anyways, so that's it for me today. But uh, I hope you found this video helpful. And um, until next time, take it easy.